how far along the way do you think, like how far, how, how far down the road is it that these technologies that we have, quantum computing, yeah. artificial intelligence, quantum sensors, um, the whole realm of things, how, how far away are we from like legitimate, um, and I'll relate it specifically to, to health, um, to, to, to curing a disease. Because in my lifetime, in our lifetimes, we, we, you know, we've seen some, you know, the eradication of certain things, but we have not seen something as, 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 you know, the, the like a cure yeah. for I, I, I feel conservative saying this in terms of like timeline wise, I think in less than 10 years, we will be able to solve every hereditary, uh, disorder that's ever wow. existed. Like, I think that's that like we're well on track for that kind of stuff. Uh, when you look at the, the work of CRISPR, right, 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 like, yeah, yeah. so, um, that provides a lot of opportunities to like, uh, you know, just kind of correct uh, things in DNA uh -huh. that, uh, would be hereditary disorders and we have enough you know, the human genome has been sequenced. We have enough, uh, examples of DNA and things like that and be able to map out the, uh, the pattern of, of these hereditary disorders to be able to pinpoint what those, those, uh, genes were to be able to, to help people live a lot longer. So I feel comfortable saying less than 10 years. So 